Hi, I'm Uncle Bill, and welcome to my kitchen. Uh, for the first show, I'm going to show you exactly how my mom made her homemade biscuits. She's originally from Popper Bluff, Missouri, so got to give a shout out to Popper Bluff. So let's get started. First of all, I've already poured a cup of milk, just regular milk, put it in the bowl. Like this. Then I get my bag of self-rising flour. And I put, oh, let me see, about four heaping tablespoons full. There's one, two, three, and four. Right in there. And I stir it. Now, you don't want to stir it a whole lot to get it tough, like a cake mixture. You just kind of gently stir it like so. Get all that flour in there. Oops, got some off in the floor. Sure the dogs will get it. And there will be a little lumps and stuff. And then what I do is I add about two more tablespoons of the self rising flour. Like so. And then I want to stir. You want to get it a nice texture to it, but you don't want it too thick either. Right? Keep stirring. Okay. Looks like it's going to need some more flour. Put one, two heaping tablespoons full. Here we go. This is getting to be like a dough mixture. That's actually what you want. And I don't want to stir it a whole lot. I don't want the biscuits coming out tough. But I think I want just a little more flour. This is almost, almost there. Want to add just a little bit more flour. Okay, I think this is what I want. Okay, this is what your dough should look like. Okay, now what I do, my mom does, get your wax paper out like so, and I already put self rising flour on the paper so the dough won't stick to it. Now, I just put my dough on the flour. These are really easy to make, as you can see. And I make these just as fast or faster than I can open up a can of biscuits. Now, what I do is take a little bit more flour. I flour it on top because you don't want your rolling pin sticking to the top. And I just roll it out like so. You don't want it real thin now. Just like this. Okay. I'd say, I don't know, maybe a quarter of an inch thick. A little bit more. Okay. So, what I do is, I take it with just regular glass. Cut out my biscuits. Like so. These will generally make, I don't know, maybe six sometimes seven biscuits and I just keep doing that like so they don't have to be perfectly round and I just do it like that so then I just kind of gather up the last of it and we're going to have a little biscuit right there so you can see it makes about five five real good biscuits and a little bit left over I take a regular cake pan I don't know if you can see it. I already poured oil in here. This is what my mom did. These are not diet. So just pick up your first biscuit. I kind of do the one side and put it up at the end of this pan. Like so. Do the other one. And just keep doing this 
until you got all your biscuits in the pan. Put that one right there. It's okay, they don't have to stay perfectly round. And these make some pretty big biscuits. Gotta make room for that other biscuit there. And I just do that, get the oil on there. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. Now, I've preheated my oven to 500 degrees, and with the magic of video, I will show you what the biscuits will look like. Get my glove here, got my oven glove. Now, this is what your biscuits look like. And trust me, they are really good with some butter and some jelly. So, we just flip it over like that and look at those biscuits. Can't get any better than that. So, what we'll do is we'll put the other pan of biscuits in here. And your oven's on 500. It generally takes anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. Depends on how hot your oven is. So, that's how my mom always made her homemade biscuits, and that's what I grew up with. So, welcome to Uncle Bill's homemade biscuit cooking show today. See you next time. I'll be making my homemade carrot cake. Goodbye.